continuing to track a tragic spike in traffic-related deaths in Portland. And that's as the number of people killed on city streets nears record highs. Joelle Jones is going to be on the headlines tonight. Speaking with transportation officials in an interview you'll only see here on Coin 6. Joelle, I understand you spoke with Commissioner Mingus Maps and what is being done to address this? Well, we've covered a lot of the problems on our streets, so we wanted to hear some of the city's solutions. Commissioner Mingus Maps showed us some of the reduced speedways, the separated bike and bus lanes, and incoming speed cameras to help keep people safe. Still, he says it's on all of us to make sure those traveling out on our roadways make it back home. Here you can really see the ways in which we are trying to build a multimodal transportation system. On Grand and Hawthorne, one of the city's high crash corridors, Transportation Commissioner Mingus Mapp says to improve safety, his team has worked to separate the protective bike lanes from the bus and car lanes. As city data shows, nearly 40% of traffic deaths reported from 2018 to 2022 were pedestrians. The area already has red light cameras, but he says right now Peabot is installing one of eight new speed cameras, which should be up and running by the end of the year. We've done some major changes in recent years. So we've lowered the speed limit uh, here at roughly Grand and Hawthorne uh, um, to 20 miles an hour. I'll tell you uh, the difference between a, a car accident and a car fatality is basically the speed that people are going. To date, PPB data shows there have been 66 traffic deaths in 2023, three more than the 63 deaths reported in the last two years and the highest number recorded in the last three decades. I am so sorry for um, the losses that, um, you know, nearly 70 Portland families have suffered so far. My condolences. And I also want everyone to know that uh, Peabot and my team really get it. We're, that's why we're out there working every day to make our streets safer. A recent Multnomah County report found of the 170 traffic related deaths reported from 2020 to 2021, 84% tested positive for at least one substance and 24% were homeless. Commissioner Mapp says this is one of the reasons council recently passed an ordinance banning camping near high crash corridors. We're trying to discourage our houseless neighbors from doing that. Um, of course, to make that a reality, we got to do a better job working with our friends at the county, actually, uh, to make sure that Portlanders have a place to go. Now, in addition to some of those infrastructure improvements, Commissioner Mapp says he hopes to double the number of speed cameras in the city from the current 20 to 40 by this time next year. He says early data shows it can help reduce the amount of speeding by nearly 70 percent. Reporting live in Portland tonight, I'm Joelle Jones, Coin 6 News. Joelle, thank you. We'll try them at right.